General Arun Kumar Sridhar Vaidya PVSM, MVC and Bar, AVSM the 27th of January 1926 to the 10th of August 1986 was the 13th Chief of Army Staff COAS of the Indian Army. Topic: <laughs> Family. Vaidya was born to Sridhar B. Vaidya and his wife Indira in Bombay on January 27, 1926. His wife's name was Banu and they had three daughters. Joining the British Indian Army in 1944, Vaidya fought in the Burma Campaign during the final months of the Second World War. Career <laughs> 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 Early Army career Vaidya received an emergency commission in the Armoured Corps on 21 October 1945, with the service number IEC 11597, and received a regular Army commission as a lieutenant on 7 May 1947 seniority from 21 April 1947, a few months before India's independence. Topic: 1965 Indo-Pak War. Vaidya was promoted lieutenant colonel on the 10th of June 1965, shortly before war broke out between India and Pakistan that year. He was in command of the Deccan Horse. During the time, he was instrumental in saving the command trucks and fleeing divisional headquarters through his tanks through an encirclement by Pakistan Army's 6th Armored Division at the Battle of Chainda, which resulted in destruction of Pakistan's 1st Armored Division and heavy loss of Pakistani lives. For this, he was awarded the Maha Veer Chakra. Topic: 1971 Indo-Pak War. Promoted brigadier on the 21st of July 1969, Vaidya during the 1971 Indo-Pak conflict was the commander of an armored brigade in the Zafarwal sector on the Western Front. In the Battle of Chakra and Dahira, the hostile terrain was combined with minefields. He crossed through the minefield and moved forward. Thus the entire squadron was able to push through the lane and quickly deploy itself to meet the Pakistan Army's counter-attacks. During the Battle of Basantar or Battle of Barapind in the same conflict, he displayed skill and leadership in getting his tanks through deep minefields. For this he was awarded a second Maha Veer Chakra known as the Bar to MVC. <laughs> Subsequent career and promotion to COAS On 2 November 1970, Brigadier Vaidya was appointed Commandant of the Armoured Corps Centre and School. He was given command of an armoured division and was promoted to Acting Major General on 4 January 1973, with confirmation in the substantive rank on 1 April 1974. He was promoted to Lieutenant General on 25 January 1980 seniority from 16 August 1978. On 31 July 1983 General Vaidya became the 13th Chief of Army Staff of the Indian Army. In 1984, he planned Operation Blue Star to evict Sikh militants hidden in the Golden Temple. He retired on 31 January 1986, one of India's most decorated officers. He had completed over 40 years of service. Operation Blue Star In 1984, Vaidya designed and supervised Operation Blue Star, a military operation ordered by Indira Gandhi, then Prime Minister of India, against militants commanded by Shabeg Singh AVSM and PVSM under Jarnail Singh Bindranwale, chief of Damdami Taksal, in June 1984 at the Golden Temple Complex. Assassination As the principal organizer of Operation Blue Star, Vaidya was well aware of being a high-profile target for assassins, but never regretted his role, stating in a 1985 interview, "...I do not see any difference in taking up arms against a foreign enemy or an enemy from within." 
one who takes up arms against his own brother citizens, against his own constitution and legally constituted government is enemy enough, deserving the most ruthless punishment." Despite numerous death threats being sent to his offices in the months before his retirement, he remained equally calm about the very real danger to his life. "'After seeing two wars I can't run away from danger. If a bullet is destined to get me, it will come with my name written on it. Following Vaidya's retirement, he took up residence in Pune, India, where he built a three-bedroom bungalow for his retirement. Just six months later, on 10 August 1986, he was shot to death in his white Maruti car while driving home from the market on Rajendrasinji Marg, Pune, at around 11.45 am. According to police, four reportedly clean-shaven men pulled up alongside the car on motorcycles, with the lead assassin firing three shots into Vaidya through the driver's side window. The first two bullets penetrated his brain and killed him instantly. A third bullet struck Vaidya in the shoulder, with another striking his wife in the neck. His bodyguard, who was also in the car, was wounded by four bullets in his back and thighs. According to Indian intelligence sources, Vaidya had been the number four assassination target on lists of Punjabi insurgents and he was one of several people killed in retaliation for Operation Blue Star. Vaidya was cremated in Pune with full military honours. In attendance were his wife, daughters Nita Kocher, Parijat Beliapa, and Tarini Vaidya, Union Ministers V.P. Singh, V.N. Gajal and Arun Singh, the three service chiefs, Maharashtra Governor S. D. Sharma and Chief Minister of Maharashtra S. B. Chavan, along with over 50,000 other mourners. Following the assassination, the Khalistan Commando Force issued a statement declaring that Vaidya had been killed in retaliation for the Golden Temple operation. The assassination shocked India, and security measures for senior military commanders, particularly for those who had taken part in Blue Star, were immediately stepped up. Local anti Sikh rioting broke out in Pune and Mumbai after Vaidya's assassination. A number of people were stabbed and several Sikh owned businesses were attacked. In 1989, Sukhdev Singh Sukha and Harjinder Singh Jinda were sentenced to death for the killing. Despite admitting to the killing, they pleaded not guilty, justifying their actions by stating that Vaidya was guilty of a serious crime, the punishment for which could only be death. The two were executed on 9 October 1992. Awards and recognition Maha Veer Chakra MVC in 1965 for distinctive service in the Indo-Pak War Bar to Maha Veer Chakra MVC in 1971 for service in the Battle of Shikargar. Param Vishisht Siva Medal PVSM. Padma Vibhushan posthumous. Topic: Honors and Awards. Topic: Dates of Rank. Equals equals notes. <laughs>